I'm doing my third blog. So apparently, I guess everyone's really enjoying it, which I'm really happy about. Kind of fun. I guess I really do like it. I wasn't sure if I did, but I guess I do. Now, what I'm doing today is pasta and broccoli. And that's because my show airs on Fridays. So because it airs on Fridays, I'm sticking with the pasta theme, at least through Lent, because I had a few people who actually mentioned that they wished that I had made something that they could eat that didn't have meat in it. And last week I had made the pork chops recipe, which I got a lot of great feedback on. So I'm glad you enjoyed it for those of you that tried. Um, this pasta and broccoli recipe is really quick. I'm trying to do the quick, easy recipes for everyone. I know everybody is always so rushed and limited with time, just as I am and every other not so soccer mom. Um, and this also happens to be a really great, cheap, inexpensive you know, meal. Um, this is just broccoli florets. Now, I will tell you that I use this same exact recipe with uh, broccoli rob, or brokey, as Nanny would call it. She used to call everything broke it up. So we would say, are we having any brokey? And people go, what's brokey? And nobody understood our own little language, but that's because Nanny used to call it broken it up. So we used to call it brokey. Yeah, that was our own thing. So I do use the same recipe with broken it up, just like I do with regular broccoli. There's really no difference in how I make it. Um, I will tell you though that it's a nice, cheap, inexpensive, you know, budget-friendly recipe. And you can really make this for a lot of people and get away with not spending a lot of money. So I use the broccoli florets and I steam them. And after I steam the bro broccoli, I actually saute it in the garlic and oil. Now I don't steam it so that it's too, too soft, but everybody has a different, you know, a different likeness on whether or not they like their vegetables really soft or if they like them, you know, semi-hard. I kind of go either way, to be honest with you. I like them soft, but I also like them, you know, hard too. So I usually go by whatever recipe I'm using, kind of, you know, make it as quick and easy as possible. If the recipe's done faster with the broccoli and it's a little bit harder, well, that's perfectly fine with me. Then I'll have it with a little bit of a uh, harder broccoli. Now, again, as usual, and you'll find that pretty much almost everything I do, everything I cook with, I start with garlic and oil, um, always extra virgin olive oil. I heat up extra virgin olive oil. In this case, I use a little bit more than I normally do. Normally, I just kind of, you know, cover the bottom of the pan with EVOO. This time, I put a little extra because I want to make sure that there's a little bit of juice because I'm going to put this over pasta. Um, you can use really whatever kind of pasta that you like. I usually use a... Uh, like a rigatoni or a fusilli or a rotini. What am I using today? This is Dreamfields. Dreamfields rotini. See? Dreamfields. I love Dreamfields. You know why I love Dreamfields? I'll tell you why. It has protein in it. What pasta can you buy that has protein in it? Any pasta that has protein in it is perfect for me. So it's low in carbs. It's, you know, low digestible carbs and it has protein. So kind of one of my faves. Again, with my uh, Christopher Ranch already peeled and ready to go garlic. The only way to have garlic. It is a little bit more expensive, but guess what? You're making a cheap dish, you can get away with using the garlic that's already peeled. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now, uh, this recipe also you can make either with the spicy hot peppers or not. And I do always have my trusty chili, chili uh, dried chili peppers on hand. I'll usually only use about two. And if you don't want it as hot, you can take the seeds out. Like you can literally crack the pepper open like this and let some of the seeds fall out and then just use the outside of the pepper. So you get the flavor of the hot pepper without all that intense heat. So you could do that too. And ever since I've had Susan Powder on my show, by the way, I try as often as I can or when at least I can find the um, organic broccoli or organic everything. She's got me buying organic everything. I'm sure it's better for me, but I buy the organic now thanks to Susan. One of the things that Nanny taught me, the very first thing she ever taught me pretty much, one of the things once we started learning how to cook with her, was these are some of the staples you can never be without in your house. Okay, you ready? Collagen. <laughs> Collagen, I know. Collagen chicken broth. 
You'll pretty much never come to my house where I don't have collagen in my cabinet. I do usually keep it for everything, and now they have it in these great tubes. So that way you can just peel it and you can refrigerate it. So you can use it over and over and over again, or for a little while anyways. You're not gonna use it forever. I'd say probably within seven days you're gonna use that whole thing. Okay, so a little bit of garlic and oil. Remember not to over brown your garlic so it doesn't get bitter. I put a little bit of salt in that pan and I just let it simmer so it gets light and golden brown. After the broccoli is done steaming, which will take another, I don't know, couple minutes or so. So this recipe will take you probably about 10 minutes by the time you wait for the pasta to boil and all that. Um, after you're done with steaming the broccoli, I really like to let the broccoli soak in the, in the oil and garlic because it really pulls in that flavor. And then every time you take a bite of broccoli with your pasta, you get that nice flavor of oil and garlic. The reason for the chicken broth is because we really, my family likes everything a little bit juicy. So anything that has pasta with it, if it doesn't have like a little bit of juice to go with it, they're all like, oh my God, it's dry, it's dry. So I always have chicken broth that I, <clears throat> excuse me, pour in afterwards and heat it up just to kind of, it has a great flavor to it. And it also makes it nice and wet and gives it that extra juice, especially if you're not gonna eat it like the whole thing that night, or maybe you're having leftovers or someone's not home yet from, practice somewhere and now you have to reheat their dinner you add a little bit of chicken broth to it so it's not as thick and stuff so that's one of the reasons why you want to make sure you don't overcook your broccoli and you want to make sure you don't overcook your pasta simply because as you reheat with the garlic and oil and then with the chicken broth you don't want it to get too mushy okay so here we have our garlic and oil Everything's going nicely in here. You know, when I put red pepper in chili flakes, I typically don't put a lot of um, black pepper in. I'll usually use the red pepper in place of the black pepper. And then always, I can't forget, oh, let me get it, hold on. Can't forget the cheese. Did everybody go out and buy good grated cheese, the good stuff, the Locatelli? Make sure you go out and buy the good stuff. This is important, okay? You have to have the good cheese. All right, I'm gonna test my broccoli, very simply. And it is almost, done. I'd say another minute or so. While that cooks, I have that go. Now, in the meantime, I'm going to bring a pot of water to a boil. These packages I typically use, I mean, my family's not big eaters. My husband, you know, he doesn't eat that much at all, really. Um, so usually I would use like a box of macaroni, which is a pound, but you know, of course, the more expensive the pasta is and the better the pasta is, the less they put in the box. So it's not really a whole pound. So I end up having to use more. As far as the, um, as far as the broccoli goes, I used quite a lot of broccoli. I feel like if you're gonna put the vegetable in, you wanna get as much vegetable as you can and make it worth your while. Remember, you always have to salt the water when you're boiling your water for your pasta. It really is the only chance that you have to flavor the pasta. And I learned that from Rachel Ray. You know what else I was kind of curious about? Let me know, send me a message, Kim at uh, notsosofamomradio.com or you can call me at 201-644-NSSN. Who knows the difference between chicken stock and chicken broth? You know, collagen does actually have chicken stock now. Excuse me. They actually do have chicken stock now. Well, you know, I don't really know the difference. I just think, okay, one's chicken stock, one's chicken broth. I'm assuming that the stock is a little bit more um, flavored. Well, I don't really know, to tell you the truth. So anybody want to help me out with that? By all means, do so. Okay, broccoli is done. We're gonna drain the broccoli. Now I want you to notice, see the color in the broccoli? It's still nice and green. You don't want it to be, you know, no dead color. That just means it's overcooked. So don't overcook your broccoli. Now once I drain it, I gently just put it in the garlic and oil. Again, be careful, because this splatters. The other thing I, oh, yeah, that's what happens every time I cook. The other thing uh, that I noticed is that I really need a new apron. I really 
think a great idea would be to use a not so soccer mom apron, right? Anyways, that's my new venture. Coming out with merchandise. Not so soccer mom merchandise and a not so soccer mom apron. They get overcrowded this. Let's switch it. There we go. Take all the drippings out. Now this is where you're gonna let it simmer for a few minutes. And as it does that, I will show that to you so that you get an idea of what it will look like. Okay. Now let me see if I could pick the camera up this time without screwing up the speaker like I did last time. Here is your beautiful broccoli. Nice dark green. You see all the flavor in there. This is just gonna simmer. It's gonna simmer for maybe three minutes or so. When it's done simmering, here's your pot. See it? The pot of your pasta, where your pasta is gonna boil. After your pasta is done boiling, you're literally just going to take the broccoli after you've strained the pasta, pour it in with the pasta, and pour, I don't know, a cup maybe of the chicken broth in and let it simmer again for another minute or two just to combine the juices and to combine the flavor. It's very simple, it's very delicious, it's actually pretty darn healthy. So I usually just serve this and then I'll, and then I'll put usually like a good, a good handful, maybe two, of grated cheese, fresh, you know, nice, good grated cheese in the, on the top of it, mix it all up, and I usually serve it just with salad and, and a loaf of Italian bread. So that's what's for dinner this week. Pasta and broccoli, five or six ingredients, garlic, oil, broccoli, um, collagen, grated cheese, very simple, nice, easy. That's what's for dinner tonight. Talk to you soon. Bye.